hello guys and welcome to my youtube channel i am daps i'm so excited to be sharing yet another video with you today and in this video i want us to consider how we can install woocommerce for infinity free and also other heavy plugins that uh that don't naturally work with infinity free so if you're watching my channel for the very first time i am daps i upload video every now and then around wordpress teaching you the free things the things that work and the things that don't work just giving you hacks around difficult things and i have quite a couple of videos around infinity free so you may want to consider checking my channel for other videos i've uploaded quite a handful of videos around infinity free infinity free ssl and zero ssl how to fix free norm for infinity free how to i've done a lot of that so you may want to check i'm also dedicating myself to watch every update on infinity free to keep updating as much as possible as i can so if you have an infinity free account or you want to start one check out the video here i also advise that you subscribe to my youtube channel for you to get notified when i upload more videos every now and then so this is my infinity free account i have a website here oladapo.ml so i would want to open this account i have also installed wordpress on oladapo.ml so if i come to the dashboard of this blog oladapo.ml if i try to go to the plugin section and hard new and i try to install a plugin like woocommerce and i install so basically we just realized that the installation is stall it just keep installing and it never stop and at the end we're going to get an error notification after waiting for a while we always get to this installation field error 502 bad gateway and this is, is a challenge for infinity free and for woocommerce and i have heard that not just woocommerce alone but there are also some plugins perhaps every plugins that you would not be able to install like this on infinity free so regardless of the plugin you're using if you come about any error like this installation failed error like this i want to show you exactly how to get this done so since we are trying to install this you using wordpress and it's failing the quick fix to solving this error is installing this plugin manually and i'll be showing you how to do that so what we are going to be doing first is to go to wordpress or hog so here we'll search for woocommerce so here we have the plugin woocommerce so we'll click this and then we hit the download button uh yes we have woocommerce installing into our pc right now which is cool and i think that is done woocommerce 4 0.3.0.zip as installed i would like to open this folder okay so i would like to extract this file all right so we've got this file extracted so we have the file here as woocommerce so i'll open the file and there's another file inside the file so that's the reason why we have to extract it and this is the woocommerce file Okay, so basically I want us to also zip this file back. So we're going to send it to compress zip folder. So a quick one here before I leave now, I want you to note that the zip file here we are going to be uploading into our website is woocommerce.zip and not woocommerce4.3.0.zip. Two different files entirely. Do not upload the zip file you downloaded directly from wordpress.org. Unzip it, open it up, and then rezip it. That's exactly how to get that done. So since we are done with this, we can close this window right now. And there are also two ways for us to upload this plugin manually into our website. We can come back to Infinity Free, and then we can go to our file manager and i think i have okay this is my control panel even from the control panel here you can come to online file manager it's still the same place we're going to end so inside our file manager right now i can come down to ht docs here and then this is my wordpress file wp admin content and include definitely if you want to go to your plugins or theme section you know definitely you should be coming to wp content and then we have our themes and plugins so we can come to the plugin section 
so we only have askimet uploaded here into our plugin section since the website is bare i have not uploaded anything directly so what we can do right now is for us to come down here to the doc section below here and we'll see an upload button we can upload a zip folder a zip file rather and then we can check out for our woocommerce file and then i would upload this zip folder so immediately we got an alert that the file woocommerce.zip is a zip archive do you want to unzip the file to the current folder after uploading so we can just upload and unzip definitely we'll have our files transferring so this is the first step you can upload your plugin manually into your wordpress website but i cannot guarantee that you have a successful file transfer using infinity free sometimes it would go sometimes it might not go so the second way for you to upload WooCommerce or any other plugin you want to install into your WordPress and is not you are getting stored from the front end uh, is for us to use an FTP client to access our website. So we can just use a third party FTP connection and you can just if you are very familiar with FileZilla or any other FTP client you are using that's fine. But if you are not you can just go to Google and search for FileZilla. So once you come to files, this is the logo for FileZilla. Once you come to FileZilla, you can eat maybe the download FileZilla client. And once you are here, you can download for Windows 64 bit or maybe 32 bits. You can download whichever. I would not be downloading FileZilla because I already have FileZilla installed on my on my laptop. So I will be launching FileZilla right away. So basically, if you download FileZilla, just like every other normal software, you will run it as an administrator and just follow the procedure. And once you follow it, there is no big deal in installing FileZilla. It's just normal. So after installing FileZilla, you should be brought to a front end as just like this. This is exactly what you would see once you install FileZilla. If you are very you are very familiar with using FTP connection or files, then fine, just connect your server, then upload your WordPress plugin files. But if you are not, let me show you exactly how to get that done. There's no big deal, it's just as simple as ABC. So let's close this now and let's come back to let's check. We still have zip word WordPress zip uploading here. So we can come to uh, infinity free account here and then we'll see that we have our FTP connection here we have our username our password host, host name and our port which is 21 and that is everything we need for us to be able to uh, connect our, our server to a third party client like infinity free so let's copy the username here so I'll put the username here and paste copy the password as well port is always 21 so once this is done you just hit the quick connect button critical error couldn't connect i think maybe i made a mistake with the plug with the password let me show the password and then i can come back here port is 21 constant so let's connect okay fantastic we got connected to the server so please note if you want to copy your password make sure that you show it first before you copy don't copy the blog text there you will just be copying error so from your far left here there's a new version or oh, i will install that later so from the far left here is your laptop there are files on your laptop you can see your downloads your local disk and all of that on your laptop and from the far right here is the remote site and this is your server and this is the ht docs initially we've started using the online files from infinity free so if we open this just the same process we'll see our wp admin wp content wp includes so we open our wp content and we have our plugins here as well we open the plugins and we only have ASCII still installed here. So if we want to upload this 
plug in to our website using this software so we're going to look for uh, the WooCommerce file here on our laptop so this is the WooCommerce file I'll open it uh, so this is the WooCommerce zip so right now since I am inside plugins here make sure that you can see that 80 doc WP content plugins is here it's easier and faster for us to upload the zip version but if we store the zip file we would not be able to unzip afterwards so we I would advise that we'll upload the unzip WooCommerce file and so once you just click on this file right click it and then click the upload button and the file will start uploading directly into our plugin session so it will take a while i need to confess i will have to pause this video to resume immediately that is over but it is it is what the process is what the wait it can take me another 15 20 30 minutes depending on our server and depending on the system we are using to at the same time so i would advise that you give it time it would install so i'll have to pause my video right now and once the installation is complete i'll be back to continue the video so after like some minutes of me going up and forth the house i realized that my file transfer here is successful so i have 3175 files transferred and for the failed ones they were just at some point where the server got disconnected and uh, it's it's nothing to worry about sincerely and i hope so so it's it's good uh can close filezilla now so let's come back to our file manager and as we see we got stocked here and as usual just like i predicted i did say that we should we should try every best possible never to rely on this because it can get stored see after so much effort it just got stored here and that's <laughs> there's nothing we can do about that right so i would have to refresh this page okay so fantastic after refreshing we have a woocommerce file here installed into the wp content plugin directory of our file for our website so i think that's good so let me go back to the dashboard now and let's go back to plugins and let's go to installed plugins uh so now you see we have woocommerce here and all we have to do now is to activate woocommerce so immediately we got a pop-up from woocommerce for us to set up a store and let's let's try to do that let's see oh i think this is not loading well i think my internet is acting up right now maybe i will have to refresh this page and perhaps maybe i will need to refresh my router as well for my internet to load well i really don't know why this is loading like this well eventually i might just have to skip this process uh, let me just change the URL back to uh, wordpress admin or we'll run the setup much more later okay so fantastic this is our dashboard and we have woocommerce installed here and this is home this is our product analytics market and all of that so your store does not appear to be using a secure connection so i don't have ssl here on this website so this is exactly how to install woocommerce with infinity free in case you've tried around you've tried to play around it and you've not been able to install woocommerce i just did right now and if you want me to show you exactly how to set up how to set up a professional store and how to do some tweaking around woocommerce i want to share some secrets around woocommerce how to get some things done i'll be uploading more videos maybe two three four more series of videos around woocommerce and how i can how we can set up woocommerce professionally if you are interested in that if you've not subscribed to this youtube channel please do that right now so that you get not you get notified when i upload those videos and in the next video i should be uploading videos around how to set up a, a store so thank you very much for watching this video if you have any issues trying to install woocommerce uh just trying to get it up on your wordpress you can on especially with infinity free you can drop them in the comment section for me below so i 
can assist as much as possible as I can. Thank you very much for watching this video. I would want to continue with you in my next video. I'll see you then. Bye for now.